Over the decades, the NYC subway has gone through an evolution of payment methods. It started out with tickets, then coins, then a variety of tokens, and then the metro card, and now a contactless payment system. Eventually, the metro card, which has been in use since the 90s, will be phased out in favor of these contactless readers. So that we're not far behind the times, in this video, we are going to talk about this new method of payment, the One Metro New York payment system. We are going to discuss the plan for the Omni system, how to use this reader, cover fair capping, transfers, how it works for multiple riders, and notes for tourists. Welcome to Urban Caffeine. If you like New Yorking, hit that like button. One Metro New York, or Omni, is a payment system that New York is phasing into becoming the method of payment for subways, buses, the LIRR, and the Metro North commuter rails. While the subways and buses run within the confines of the New York City area, the Long Island Railroad and the Metro North go beyond it. Currently, these readers have been installed in the subways and buses only. Eventually, the LIRR and Metro North will have them too. Right now, we're in this weird time period where both the Omni readers and Metro cards are being used. Eventually, the current Metro card will retire. Some estimate that the Metro card will be here at least until 2024. So we've got some time to learn the ropes. The Omni readers accept cards and smart devices that have the tap and pay feature. The more globity gloop term for it is NFC short for Near Field Communication. Near Field meaning touch-free. Using the Omni Reader is quite simple. Just wave your method of payment over the reader, wait a couple seconds until the reader turns green, and you are good to go. If you don't have any of these devices and still prefer cold hard cash, there's the Omni Card which we'll talk about later in another video. Once that video is available, a link will be pinned in the comments section of this video. Also, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss future videos. Whether you use the Omni system or MetroCard, a cost for a single ride is $2.75. Note that the MTA hasn't raised these fare prices on the single ride since 2015, so I wouldn't be surprised if the price for a single ride goes up anytime soon. When using the MetroCard, a way to save money is by getting a 7-day or 30-day unlimited rides. While the Omni system does not offer 7-day or 30-day unlimited for purchase, they just started a pilot program for fare capping. Fare capping is when passengers get free rides once they meet a certain cap. For the case of the Omni system, once you've taken 12 rides in a week, whether it's bus or subway, your rides for the rest of the week are free. This model aligns with the 7-day unlimited pass on the MetroCard. A 7-day unlimited is worth $33 with a MetroCard. With the Omni Reader, 12 rides is also $33. The Omni system considers a week as Monday to Sunday, so every Sunday at the stroke of midnight, your ride count resets. As long as you use the same method of payment, the machine will keep track of how many times that payment method has been used. Note that the physical card is recognized as one method, and if you program that same card into your device, that counts as a completely different method. So however you pay for your ride on Monday, make sure you use that same method until Sunday. But be warned all ye commuters, fare capping is a pilot program that is expected to be in place only for the next four months so until the end of June. Then the MTA will evaluate whether to keep it permanent or scratch it. I'll make sure to pin a comment to this video for any updates. Exactly like the Metro card, within two hours of your last payment, you can get a free transfer from subway to bus, bus to subway, and bus to bus. Just make sure to use the same method of payment. Say you're traveling with three other people. So plus U equals four commuters. Well, you're in luck because with the Omni Reader, you can use the same method of payment up to four times in one go. But how would that work for fare capping? Only the first tap will count towards the weekly cap. So if you took two trips and paid for four people, you only get two rides credited towards your cap. Once you reach the cap of 12 rides and you're still paying for others, only the first tap will be free. If you are a tourist, here are a few things to consider. 
If you are staying midweek to midweek, say Thursday to Wednesday, then fare capping might not work out because even if you take the subway more than 12 times in your first few days and enjoy unlimited rides, you will have to start paying for it again come Monday. In this case, if you plan to take the subway a lot, you are better off getting the 7-day unlimited with the Metro card which will cover your entire 7 days. An unlimited Metro card starts the first day you use it. Using the Omni system and taking advantage of fare capping is really only great for solo travelers or for groups where each person has a credit card or device they can use. But for families and other groups where only one person will be paying for everybody, it might be worth looking at getting everyone an unlimited Metro card if you plan to use the subway a lot. It's always worth doing the math. And if you are a foreign tourist with a foreign credit card, you might be charged a foreign transaction fee per charge, so you might be paying more than $275 per ride. You can get around this again by buying a Metro card. Yes, you could get an Omni card, but right now these are hard to get and will cost you $5 instead of the $1 for a Metro card. This channel will have another video that covers just the Omni card, so subscribe and hit that notification bell. And that's all, folks. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think of the Omni system and this in-between phase that we are in right now. Until next time, thanks so much for watching and happy New Yorking!